back to my channel. If you're new here, you all don't know me. My name is Sharmil and the name of my channel is Classic Scrutiny. Basically, I'm all about this makeup and vlogging. So if you all are interested in knowing more about me and knowing more about this channel, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon so that whenever I upload a new video, you all are always notified. Anyways, so today I'm going to talk about color correctors. Color correctors are basically used to correct all the imperfections on your face and that is a complete important step because you can get a flawless foundation and a flawless makeup look. So any uneven skin will never peep out of your foundation. That's the reason you use a color corrector. Although I believe that using a color corrector is not a very good option for everyday use because obviously you will find so many mistakes on your face once you start using it. So I would suggest don't use it. But yes, of course, you all should know how to use it. So today in this detailed video, I'm going to show you how I use a color corrector for a brown skin. So yes, let's just dive into the video. All right, so you all can see on my face that I haven't applied anything other than a moisturizer. And the moisturizer that I have applied is the Nasio Rose Water Hydration Moisturizer. A sunscreen and a moisturizer both together is a very good blend for a day look. And if you've got a lot of redness or brownness or any other type of color correction that you need, you just need to use a color corrector which has all these colors in it. So the color corrector which I am using today is the BH Cosmetics Color Corrector. This is the concealer and corrector medium six color palette. So uh, usually I just use the peach from here. I don't even use the green nor yellow. Um, and this I never ever use. These are concealers and I don't like using concealers from palettes. So I use concealers which I already have. Uh, I'm not really confident with these. Although I've tried to use these but I didn't find it like, you know, I, I didn't feel that it worked out. Hence, we will be using these three today. Um, if you want me to use this, you just need to comment down below or let me know on Instagram by uh, messaging me or or contacting me through all the social media accounts which I have mentioned in the description box below you all can contact me from that um, today I'm going to show you all these three colors let's talk about these colors first the peach color is basically for your dark circles and all the brownness on your face we also have brown areas over here around your mouth around your eyes um, and sometimes over here too so the orange one will be used for that and I will be applying it today in front of y'all. To apply it, I'm using a flat concealer brush which is the Morphe um, uh, M224 brush. This is a good brush to apply concealers and correctors and anything which is creamy so you can just directly apply it. I am dipping into the peach one or you can say the orange one. Mostly it is a peach one and then I will directly be applying it on my dark circle so you all could see that my dark circles are already getting camouflaged I haven't really done anything I'm just applying this I think the difference has just started there was a time when I was unable to use uh, orange or peach on my eyes like I couldn't understand how to use a color corrector but now I think everything seems so easy and possible while I've just been practicing makeup since four years now and now I could see that I have become a little bit more perfect you could say so let's just apply on one side first I'll show you all the difference between the two so that it's clear for you all and now I'm gonna use it a little bit over here which seems a little bit dark so all the brown areas mostly I avoid using color correctors I don't like it but it's a good thing to use color corrector because it doesn't turn your foundation gray so if you don't use a color corrector and directly use a foundation sometimes what happens is there are areas which will start looking gray so I don't think so that looks good and let's just try with this I think the camera is able to show you all the actual difference what has started showing on my face and literally it has started correcting my dark spots 
see normally when you don't do any makeup um, those dark spots don't really pop out but when you when you apply something when you do makeup the dark spots are that's what I have noticed that they are see-through so I think that a color corrector is a very good option I have a little bit dark patch over here too so I will be covering that the best way to apply a color corrector is with a brush you all can even use your finger but I would prefer a brush because I don't want to spoil my hands while doing makeup it's better to use tools I think that's it that those are my dark spots so you all can clearly see the difference right now um, this area is co completely corrected and this area is not corrected yet sometimes when you start using a color corrector you all will find defects on your face if you want to start finding defects on your face you all can use this every day but um, no I don't want that to happen with me so I don't want to use it only like it's just for days like if I want to go for a wedding or if a party or anything where I want my makeup to stay like I don't want the grey part to be visible on camera sometimes the camera is able to catch the grey part above your like your upper lip grey part around your lips part and also your dark circles so if you want a very good picture just use a color corrector okay once you're done with that just start using a beauty blender to just blend everything properly otherwise it will be visible with your foundation so just blend completely you don't want this to mix with your foundation we will set this later on first let's complete with the whole color correction of my face and next it's time for green now green why is green used it's only used for redness on your face most of the times the uh, ones who are a little bit more fair who have a lighter tone they both uh, use a green color corrector because they don't have dark circles they have red circles they have red patches on their face and that completely is visible because obviously they have that very light skin so all those redness is always visible I don't really use a green one because I am not very fair I have a normal wheatish skin so I don't really need to use that when you look at me you won't find a lot of redness on my face but just for this video I am going to show you how to use the green color corrector so I will be dipping into green color corrector now as I said that you need redness on your face so mostly the redness may be around your cheeks because you have your breakouts or maybe you also have pimples so I have a little bit of redness around here and I will be tapping this on all my red parts maybe my breakouts or even my my pimples I don't really have pimples right now but I do have a little bit of redness so I will be using this around here so as you all can see I'm just patting it over here doing nothing just pat it properly on all the red areas and don't worry once everything is blended properly it won't be visible through your foundation and the same goes with this I have a little bit more redness over here and it never goes from my face I have tried many things but it's not that visible because of my skin color and hence I don't really use anything um, most of the times I just use a color corrector only for weddings which are like really close otherwise I don't like using it and then I will just be blending this try to avoid the peach part just start blending over here itself I can see that I even have little bit of redness on my nose and hence I'll be using this on my nose as well yellow is basically to cover mild redness mild redness that means a little bit of redness if you have very less redness you all can use yellow I don't usually use a yellow like I don't I never have used a yellow I have tried using it but I don't think so it's for my face so if you have very less redness on your face you all can use a yellow one maybe I can show you all how, where I will be using it mm, I can't see any maybe a little bit over here okay um, or maybe a little bit over here and I don't find any place to use a yellow one maybe 
over here or two. Okay, okay, I don't find any more ways to use this. And then of course, I am going to blend it a little bit more. All right, that's it. And of course, to set this, you need to use a loose powder. And for loose powder, today I'm using the Fit Me Loose Powder, which is in the shade Light Ledger. And this is almost getting over. So I just want to finish it off now. This is the best makeup setter. I really love this. So start setting your face wherever. I mean, start setting your color correctors. Why is it important to set your color corrector is obviously because it should not mix with your foundation. So it's better that you avoid it first. So you all can see the difference now. It's properly set and this will not move at all. While this can move because it's still creamy. So let's just set this side too. And don't worry when you're setting this with your same beauty blender, the greens won't mix with the uh, orange or peach. All right, so this is the final result after the foundation and everything, the greens and the oranges won't be visible. So I'll complete my whole makeup and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so this is the final look and I think after applying a color corrector, foundation is completely flawless. This is kind of a beachy look I created for myself. Although it's the end of summer in Australia and now I'm creating this beachy look. So stupid of me. And this look is going to be up on my channel soon. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that when I upload this video, y'all are notified. So yes, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.